Hello everyone. Today is what's the date today, Maxi? The sixth of June. June. We are exactly thirteen days post a frozen embryo transfer. And I have managed not to get my periods since then. I'm supposed to test tomorrow morning. I'm very nervous. I'm very excited, but more nervous. I am at least grateful that I didn't get my periods like, you know, two, three, four, five days early or whatever. And I will still have that hope and the chance to test tomorrow morning. And then if it's negative, it's negative, whatever. I have to do another one in two days after that. But if it's positive, we're pregnant. How do you feel, Maxi? Um, a little bit nervous, anxious, mm. but um, hopeful that everything will go as planned tomorrow morning and hoping for the best. Yeah, that's how we are at the moment. So I just thought I'd do a little bit of an intro to tomorrow morning's video, which I'm, I'm going to try and record us looking at the test and see what happens. I've had a bit of cramps last week, really painful cramp, cramps actually. And I'm kind of feeling like a little bit like I have to get my periods, but not as intensely as I normally do. So I don't know what it, what that means. Or well, I guess we'll know tomorrow. But yeah, so tonight I'm having my coffee. I just got home from work and some brasso de reina. Is it brasso da reina or brasso de reina? De reina. So it's Brazo de Reina, which in Spanish means, I think, the arm of the queen. And this is a Chilean dessert, and I absolutely love it. So that's what I'm eating and keeping my fingers and toes crossed. Hoping for the best in the morning. Oh, shoot, look at my hair. That's about it, huh, Maxi? See. Fingers crossed for us tomorrow. to have a look at the pee stick. Alright, you ready? Are we ready? With my sign for pajamas. Okay. You ready? See. Good luck, class. Okay. See how we go. One, two, three, go. No. There's clearly one. There's two. There's a line there. Wait, wait. There's a line there. See the little, little faint line? But it has to, doesn't it have to be like the other one or no? No. Okay. <laughs> okay, but I want to know if that means, even if it's that faint, does that mean you are pregnant or not? Are you sure? No way. <laughs> Let me see. Oh my god. That's a lot. Very like very, very faint. It's very, very faint, but it's there. So, how do we know for sure, for sure? Or do, or do you think this is 100%? I don't know. Mm -hmm. We might be pregnant. We might be pregnant. <laughs> I can see it, right? But it's so faint. It's because it's so early. Is that what it means? The hormone levels are still not up there for the, the, the pee stick to detect it that well. I got another pregnancy test in the bathroom taking this right away. Sure. That's a line. We're pregnant! Sure. Where's the line? Yes, it's a fake line. Oh my 
lines but they're there we just need the baby to stick yeah definitely they weak as shit but it's there it's very very fake but it's there there, there, there is a line for sure oh, oh my god <sighs> thought I'd do an end to that video I'm just for a lovely walk it has now been roughly two months since that positive pregnancy test um, so our first frozen embryo transfer worked we had a positive pregnancy test but I sadly miscarried the reason I'm putting this out there is because nobody talks about it, everybody's ashamed of it. Um, there's nothing I could have done, there's nothing anybody could have done. It simply wasn't meant to be. Oh, look at that sunset. Uh, it was not meant to be. I didn't want to film immediately. Oh, sorry about my hair. I didn't want to film immediately after. It happened because I mean I don't want to be one of those people that sets up the camera to record me crying we all know people like that on the internet I'm not one of those so I had my grieving in private well we had our grieving in private Maxi of course with me it was sad it was devastating I never expected to be one of those people that had to go through that I just always assumed that it, I would go you know, for a few times and it'll and it won't work because you know it just didn't work I didn't think that my first go I would get pregnant and have a miscarriage so um, as soon as I told my doctor on that day basically what happened was the same day where I had my pregnancy test I had already pre-booked a doctor's appointment because my doctor have to book her like probably a month in advance so I'd pre-booked that appointment so then I would know if I'm not pregnant we put a plan in place for a new round if I am pregnant she told me what to do so I had the appointment in the afternoon and I told her that I had a faint positive line on my pregnancy test and I could tell straight away by her sort of non-excitement she did say congratulations and this and that but then I could tell that she thinks it will not work out because I said to her it was a faint line so she said to me it could be all good or it could be a biochemical pregnancy which is what a, what a pregnancy in the early stages is that doesn't it takes but it doesn't stay taken so that's basically what happened but she said to me I'm gonna send you for a blood test today and I went for the blood test she called me the next morning and she said my HCG levels were 11 which is super super low like I know people who have had like hundreds on their first pregnancy test so um, she did tell me to go and have a, another pregnancy test two days later and if my numbers have not doubled she wanted me to stop using the progesterone which would then make me start bleeding and have miscarriage and have my periods basically and that's what happened I went two days later 
and my HC, HCG was 10. So not only did it not double, it went down. So um, we knew straight away that this was not going to be a viable pregnancy. So I stopped using the progesterone and about four days later I started bleeding and that was it. And that was all done. Um, but yeah, so that's what happened. I just want to tell you that if this happened to you, you're not alone. It happens to a lot of us and we don't have to suffer in silence. We can talk about it. Talking about it is half the problem solved, I'd say. So, um, yeah. You know what? I, I don't know. This might happen to me every time. This might happen to me another one, two, three times. This might never happen to me again. But um, the only thing I can do is just keep going. Sorry about the buffs. The only thing I can do is just keep going and keep trying. I have since had another round of IVF and I'll put that in another video. Maybe a bit more um, a bit more information about it. I guess we'll see what happens. I just wanted to be transparent and say it's not your fault. It happens to everybody. Do not be ashamed. There's nothing you could have done. There's nothing you can do to prevent it. There's nothing you can do to stop it once it starts happening. You just have to grieve for your loss. And we have to keep trying. If you're in my situation and you are actually trying, you just got to keep going. Um, you can message me if you need to talk. Put a comment down below. You can find me on Instagram maybe. DM me if you wanted to have a private chat. But yeah, so... That's all I wanted to tell you. Have a good day, everyone. And we'll see you next time.